Hey YouTube, how you doing today? So I've got another uh, backyard chemistry experiment. This one's about small hive beetles. Um, Bob Benny, many of you probably watch his channel. Uh, he's up in the Carolinas. He actually came down to Florida to visit a uh, very um, famous queen breeder, Chris, uh, Chris Werner. Lives down in the, <clears throat> excuse me, the middle of the state. And uh, Bob and Chris had a conversation about a small hive beetle treatment that Chris Werner has been using, using essential oils uh, impregnated in shop towels. Um, Bob posted the recipe, so this is, this is definitely not my original thought. I'm just twisting it up a little bit. Um, and what Chris recommended was a mixture of canola oil and three essential oils, camphor, tea tree, eucalyptus and mixing it up into a mixture and then soaking it into shop towels much like randy oliver was doing with his glycerolic acid and laying the shop towel over the top bars and chris is absolutely convinced that this is reducing his small hot beetle count and improving the health of his colonies while I've never tried essential oils for small hive beetles, I know there's a lot of folks going around thinking there's some peppermint improvements and things like that. So what I wanted to do was to try to mix my glycerin gelatin gummies recipe that I've been working on with this essential oil mixture, much like I did in my swarm trap lure recipe, uh, but instead and in use these essential oils in this gummy and also take the opportunity to update you on my formula for the gummy recipe that I, I've evolved and learned on. I've come to learn that um, the actual chemical combination of the glycerin and the gelatin does a little bit better and becomes a little bit more rubbery if it has a sugar molecule in order to create those polymer chains. A Little bit of a chemistry involved there, but my previous recipe only had glycerin, did not have any sugar. And ironically, some of the recipes I saw on the internet that kind of made me experiment were using honey. I was like, hey, I'm a beekeeper. I have honey. <clears throat> so I was like, I'm going to go ahead and shift my recipe uh, to the honey recipe. Uh, and I will put that in the description below. And I will keep the description below updated with any changes I make. But basically, the new recipe is one part water, one part honey, to two parts glycerin, to two parts gelatin. So the gelatin and the glycerin are the same, and then you kind of split honey and water. It's kind of like diluting the honey a little bit is what it's doing. So previously I used a, a formulation that I, I poured into these little um, kind of candy g silicone gels, and it made, you know, about 10. Uh, so I'm gonna use the same uh, proportions today. So what I've got here, and just going through the recipe, and when you start to use this much gelatin, it's probably better to go get one of these off of Amazon. It's a full uh, 16 ounce, one pound thing of gelatin. Um, but for the two parts of gelatin, and this is by volume, I'm using 20 milliliters of glycerin. So one part would be 10 milliliters, two parts is 20 milliliters. And for the glycerin, I'm using vegetable glycerin, and here's 20 milliliters of glycerin. So that's the two parts of each. And then for the honey, I've got one part, which is 10 milliliters of honey. And then for the one part, I'm sorry, this is not even part of the recipe. This is the essential oil. The essential oil um, is in this cup, and it's coming from these, and I've already mixed them up, and I'm gonna get to that in a second. Uh, and then one part of water, which is 10 milliliters of water. Um, so, the important thing I think to realize about this new recipe is that the gummy recipe is separate from the uh, aroma or the oils part. So if you wanted to adapt this honey um, glycerin um, mixture to the swarm trap lure, go ahead and add the essential oils. I think in, in that proportion, I used 30 milliliters of um, lemongrass, I'm sorry, 30 drops of lemongrass and 30 drops of neroli or about 50 or 60 drops of lemongrass if you only use lemongrass. But for this recipe, uh, I'm using the essential oils mixed in here. Now I did a little bit of math based on the Chris Werner recipe and I'm gonna post it here uh, that Bob Benny posted. So this is the full recipe. And ultimately what I determined is that this recipe gets about five drops of each of these essential oils into each hive body. So 
five drops, you know, into each hive body is what I want into each of these gummies. So there should be a total of 15 drops of oil in each gummy, five of each of these three. And I uh, looked up on the internet also, and one milliliter is equal to about 20 drops. So I've done the math, and for 10 gummies, uh, I need about two and a half milliliters of each of these essential oils. And I have them here already pre-dropped into this cup. Um, and I am gonna warn you right now, and this is by experience already, do this outside. I already spilled one of these cups, I knocked it over, and if that happened inside the house, you are not getting rid of that uh, tea tree camphor and eucalyptus smell for a while. Um, so do this outside, which is why I'm doing it here. Okay, so the basic recipe is just like I did before. Um, you basically take the honey and the water and you kinda, you're gonna dilute them. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go, here's my 10 milliliters of honey. This is not an exact science either, so drops probably don't matter. Uh, probably the most important thing is the number of um, grams or the volume of um, glycerin. And this was my water, and this is 10 milliliters of water. So all I'm essentially doing is diluting honey at this point now in cold water. And you're just mixing the honey up to where it just kind of thins it out, no big deal. Very easy. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the glycerin. And this is the two parts of glycerin. And glycerin is a kind of a sugar also. So that is why it worked before without the honey on the previous recipe, the glycerin acting as that binding agent. The honey, um, I'm really also hoping will give a little bit of a stimulant that the bees might actually nibble at this a little bit. Okay, so there is my glycerin mixed in there. And I'm just gonna stir this up to kind of dilute it out a little bit. Now, the next part is, of course, mixing in the gelatin. Now, the gelatin does not like to go into solution very well, so this is where the microwave comes in. And I am not inside where the microwave is, so I'm gonna do a little bit of cameo uh, videoing of the microwave with a different camera, but I'm gonna show you how this works. And the important thing is, is not to overheat it so it boils in the microwave. Uh, most of the recommendations are to kind of use 10 second increments. It seems to be 10 to 20 seconds for me. But now I've got a nice contiguous uh, mixture here and I'm not doing the oils now. The oils are gonna be after I get my glycerin mixture in here. And then here is the gelatin going in. And sprinkling is probably smarter and getting this mixed in is the most important part and it's gonna take some heat. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, zap this in the microwave and uh, show you what it looks like when I heat it up there. Okay, just popping it in the microwave here for 20 seconds. Probably gonna check it at 10. Okay, getting a little bit warm. 20 was probably about the right number. All right, and it is definitely a little bit warmer, so I'm just gonna continue to stir it a little bit. It did not boil over. I'm gonna hit it for about 10 more seconds. Ah, started to boil up just a little bit that time. You see, it didn't go over, but that's where, see how in the inside it's starting to foam up a little bit? That's exactly where, you know, you don't want it to go too far or this will completely boil over. Okay, I'm back outside. Hopefully that uh, camera blend worked well with the microwave, but I've still got a very hot solution. I'm continuing to stir it up, but now is when you add the essential oils of whatever flavor you're doing. And this is my two and a half milliliters each of camphor, eucalyptus, and tea tree oil as part of Chris Werner's recipe. So now I'm trying to get those oils to go into solution just by stirring continuously here before it starts to firm up. It's looking pretty good. I'm gonna get my gummies ready here, my little mold. I'll show you guys how I just do that just a little bit. Whew, that is a strong smell. All right, and here we go into the mold. Actually, I think I need to zap it in the microwave just a little bit more. 
Okay, I hit it for another 10 seconds, and the reason I added another 10 seconds is because when I started pouring, I noticed a little bit of oil that wasn't in solution, so I just needed it to get in the solution a little bit better with a little bit more heat. But now we're just gonna pour this uh, mixture into this mold to hopefully get about 10, if I got my measurements right. Wow, I got my measurements exactly right. So I just, I, almost about all I can get out of here and I got 10 gummies. Um, so what that means is I have the right proportion according to Chris Werner's recipe uh, of the amount of this per hive. Now, this is an experiment. I haven't uh, tested this yet, but I'm just using other materials that I could possibly put in the hive without having to lay them across the top bars, maybe drop one of these in the bottom and it lasts for a few weeks um, and still have the same sort of essence of getting these oils in the hive. So anyway, this is my updated formula. I really like the consistency of this and to remind you, and I'm gonna put it in the description below, this is two parts glycerin, two parts gelatin, to one part honey, to one part water. Uh, and in this formula for 10 gummies, it was 20 milliliters of volume of gelatin, 20 milliliters of vegetable glycerin, 10 milliliters of honey, and 10 milliliters of water all mixed up. And then of course I added my essential oils uh, for this formulation uh, to get the Chris Warner recipe. And it was about 50 drops of each or about two and a half milliliters of each of these three oils for a total of uh, seven and a half milliliters of oil that I added to this mixture. So I'll let you know what I think um, after they cool down. Hope this helps. Leave some comments below. Have a great day. Okay, it's been an hour and I just wanted to kind of give you a quick look. I, I showed you this in the last video, but these cool down very, very quickly, but they just peel right out of these molds. And they definitely have the color of the honey this time a little bit more, but I just wanted to show you the consistency. It's really strong and whew, it smells like those essential oils. So, so far so good. Um, I'm really liking the way it looks. I just, but I, I wanted to show you at the end of the video how easily they just peel out and these little gummies, you know, can be impregnated with just about any sort of smell and possibly flavor you want. So this has got the, the honey in it this time. I'm going to put these in my, uh, my queen mating nukes to see if it, it helps with the small hive beetles here in Jacksonville, Florida.